And when I look at artists, I think of the talent for the talent, the charisma, the ability to take the hit, but also produce hits, and somebody who has a vision, a dream, something that means something to them that they want to go for and shoot for to attain. Because every single person in the world starts off in their bedroom with fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in a bedroom with a brother or sister or both. Sometimes on a couch. Sometimes on a floor. Sometimes on a park bench. Mm -hmm. But we all start with nothing. I know what you're saying. Well, this person, you know, their parents had money and they were successful and they gave them an entrance into the business. I'm sure you could find a thousand examples. But, you know, I still look back to Chappelle coming to wa from Washington, D.C. to New York and living in an apartment and having nothing. And uh, I look at Dane Cook in his studio apartment on Hacienda, Hacienda and Fountain. $700 a month and the guy creating social media and being right by his side, the first one in history to create social media where he pressed a button and sold out Madison Square Garden and Boston Garden twice. These are the things, the vision of Jeff Ross having the vision to go with me and together to the Friars Club and convince them to come to Comedy Central to bring the roast to Comedy Central, which has become the biggest franchise in that network's history. To sit down a, a company that I merged with, um, with my partner at the time and create the concept for comedy dynamics and convince and talk to Whitney Cummings about doing the first album for uh, comedy dynamics and now 10 years later it's the largest probably one of the largest comedy dis distribution companies I love the vision of whatever it is that that people have it's exciting I just I, I, I love watching artists I don't like a lot of artists content um, because I guess I when you when you watch Jim Jeffries do a gun control bid or Chappelle do sticks and stones, you know, it's kind of hard to watch somebody go on stage, you know, talking mm -hmm. about doing cocaine and drinking and, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and fucking a stool, you know, it's <laughs> like, uh, you know, obviously they're killing, but, you know, if I hear one more time, you know, I love gay people and then go into a five minute routine of, of, uh, of homosexuality it's like you know the standards in our business of comedy are really really high and I'll tell you how high they are I'll pose this question to your audience think about how many geniuses there are living just living in music just think about how many there are and I guarantee you could easily name 20 and you could probably name 50. Now take the time with your pen and your paper and jot down how many living comedy geniuses there are mm -hmm. that you believe that all the stuff they produce or most of it is just they're on another earth plane. How many are there? There aren't 50. Yeah. There aren't 40. There aren't 30. There aren't 20. And there aren't 10. And if there's five, that would be a miracle. Yeah, I was thinking five when you said that. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. could be, it, could be, it could be worse. 